Greetings all, with Devious Monkey here. Today, I want to talk about more technology woes. Actually, this is all personal technology woes, nothing to do with work. This weekend, I was using my MacBook Pro. And this is a, what do they say, circa mid-2015 MacBook Pro with Retina display. Anyways, I was using it Saturday night while I was laying there watching TV. I noticed that it felt weird. Like, as I was using the trackpad and everything, it just it felt weird. In hindsight, it kept sliding. Because I put it on, on like a, I don't even know what you call it, but like almost like one of those little, little plastic trays that you set things down on to help the heat dissipate by giving it some airflow. And it just, it kept moving. And I was like, what the hell? Why is this thing moving so much? Never thought about why until I noticed that it looked like it kind of had a little hump in the middle. And I was like, hump in the middle? So I started like holding it up and looking at it and everything. And I was like, I think this freaking thing is bulging. Holy shit, I think the battery's bulging. Oh no. So I started to look that up and I found a few threads and noticed that, that a lot of people said, well, clearly, if you started to type this in and it popped up and you found all these threads, there are enough people complaining about it, but there's not enough people complaining about it that Apple's gonna actually do anything about it. So if you're out of warranty, you're SOL. And especially if you have like 2015 and newer with the retina display, you're really screwed because it isn't a matter of just buying a battery somewhere and unscrewing the back and changing the battery out yourself. They have to replace all kinds of shit if you have that problem. And I was like, ugh. So I started to freak out a little bit because I mean, I don't give a shit if the computer breaks. I've, I've had it for going on six years now, which didn't hit me until I was at the Genius Bar today and the guy said, so it's six years old. And I was like, oh my God, it is. I can't believe it was six years ago that I bought this thing. Anywho, I was freaked out about it because I didn't want the damn thing to explode. I didn't want it to, to you know, like, I don't know, blow up and throw acid on the cat because it's like right across from where the cat sits or worse yet, catch on fire. So I unplugged it and I sort of left it there overnight with, with no power going to it and I shut it off. And I swear to Zeus, yesterday, Sunday, I looked at it and it looked like it had bulged more. Now that could have just been me imagining things or making it look like it was worse or whatever, but regardless, it freaked me out enough that I actually got a Genius Bar appointment for today. So I took it to the Genius Bar today and immediately he was like, oh yeah, geez, you can't even close the screen. That's that's clearly got some bulge going on. And then he set it down on the counter and he's like, oh wow, it won't even sit flat. I'm like, oh my God, I didn't even notice that. So here's my MacBook Pro and it is verified. It has a bulging battery. They took it back and they took it apart and they checked everything and he assured me that it isn't a safety issue because that was the thing that concerned me the most, remember? And he said that they would be able to repair it because, well, because they're basically just gonna change the entire computer out it, because they have to replace the, the logic board and this, that, and the other thing. And the frame got bent so much that, that they might have to replace that as well. So of course I'm ready for, you know, it, it's gonna be, you know, $950 when a brand new one would cost me a thousand, but that wasn't the case. 199 bucks and they'll they'll basically do everything and it'll come back to me good as new and I thought about it and I said well all right how much would I get if I traded it in I mean it's six years old and he said well looking at it I mean it's not all scratched up I mean it turns on and all that kind of stuff in theory the most you would get for it would be $290 and I thought well it's so almost $300 for a six-year-old machine that I paid I think 1300 for he said, well, let me look it up because I don't know if they're going to take it now because the battery, you know, has, has expanded. They won't take it. And even if I, you know, were to do that, paying 200 to get 290 back, you know, so I'll get $90 for the computer, totally not worth it. But now I have to ask myself, is it even worth it to sink 200 bucks into it? It's six years old. And I'm thinking, no. And I, you know, I told my wife, you know, what had happened. She goes, oh, okay, so 200 bucks and you can get it fixed and it'll be all good to go. But again, I don't know if I want to invest that $200 in this because that could be $200 that I would spend on something else that I would rather spend the $200 on. And I'm thinking along these lines, like, do I really want to like now take this 
back there, leave it for several days while they rebuild it and do all that shit and, and spend the 200 bucks. Also, this computer now sits downstairs on the coffee table in front of our couch. So the only time I ever use it is when I'm like laying down there, you know, watching TV. So maybe an hour, two hours at night, just surfing the web and doing shit. I, like I don't actually use this computer anymore like I did because I then moved into my iMac. So I built my iMac out and now that is the workhorse of my life as far as computing goes. I don't take this on the road anymore. And I don't go on the road anymore. Like I really don't use it enough that I think I want to throw 200 bucks into it. Do you think I'm being stupid? Crazy, whatever, like should I just get it fixed? Because I mean, I'll still have a, a pretty decent MacBook Pro and it's only gonna cost me another $200. You know, that also means that I didn't spend $1,300. I'll end up spending $1,500 on it. In which case, you know, and I'm not getting any upgrade. It's just fixing the shit that broke. So I don't know. Like, I, I, I guess I just have a hard time investing money into old technology. All right, I'm blathering on. The bottom line is my MacBook Pro battery bulged. It needs to be fixed. Right now, it still works. And they told me that it's not dangerous and, and that the the event has already happened, so it shouldn't bulge anymore. But it still freaks me out. Like, I don't want to be laying there with this damn thing on my lap and just having the fucking thing explode. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. Let me know what your thoughts are on this. Am, am I wasting my $200 getting this fixed? Should I just freaking go throw it in the garage and, and leave it? Or should I invest the $200 and get it fixed? Or should I just not do any of that? Do a video where I smash it and go out and buy something else. So I'm interested. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Otherwise, that's all I got for you today. Thanks for joining me. Like, subscribe, and all that shit. And remember, kids, forward and up.